Hi, my name is Alexandra and welcome to my channel Family Code. Dads do really matter. Today's episode, today's video is going to be about the fathers. June is the month where, where we have the Father's Day and I would like to take this opportunity and discuss the relationship to a father because every one of us who is alive has a father. If we, if we want to acknowledge our father or not, we for sure have him, even if he abandoned us and we were brought up by a single parent, by a single mom, we still do have a father. First of all, I would like to tell you a little bit about the importance of the image of the father on your psyche, on your psychology and on your choice of future partners. This is especially valid for women. First of all, each one of us has a father figure an image of the father figure. Um, maybe I will just describe the standard situation when you uh, were brought up by the mother and the father. And then if you, if you were a, a girl uh, growing up to become um, a woman, uh, the father is a very important figure for you because this is a blueprint, an imprint of the future man, of the future partner for you. Because the father is for girls, the first masculine figure, the first masculine image. And then from the relationship between your parents, between the mother and the father, you learn by observing your father as a little girl, you learn what it means to be a man, how does a man behave, how does he treat the feminine, how does he treat your mother or did he treat your mother, was he supportive of the feminine, of femininity, nurturing, or was he abusive, aggressive, emotionally unstable, and maybe unpresent? Uh, if we, as little girls, if, if we didn't receive this validation that we are good the way we are, that we are beautiful the way we are, that we are pretty enough, then as grown-up women, we will tend to look for partners and expect that they will cover this hole that we have from our childhood with these words that we didn't hear from our first manly masculine figure who was our father. And um, for men, on the other hand, if you, if you were a little boy uh, and if you have a father complex or issues with your father, you have still aggression towards him then for sure you might have been blocked in your life. You might have feel your, your self-worth is not really thriving because every little boy looks up to the father and also wants to be validated, also wants that the father figure is strong. But in case you were brought up as a, as a boy and your father was not there, so he was emotionally unavailable, but he was still there in the room, uh, reading a newspaper, uh, making himself tea or whatever, preparing dinner, but emotionally he was withdrawn because, for example, he, he left the battlefield for the mother, so to speak. So she was the one taking decisions regarding the household, regarding the children, regarding their marriage. Then, as a man, as a growing up man, you might have very little self-worth and you might feel you don't know what it means to be a man you might feel that you might become like your father because we very often recreate what we know from our childhood. That's why we have this imprint of the family codes or family patterns or family dynamics. I, I like this word family code because for me it's, it's like an encoding. We are encoded, encrypted with some messages from our past, from our childhood. And then when we grow, some of us are lucky enough to see, oh, I have it because of how it was in between my parents and I kind of grew up with this. So this got encoded within me. Okay, I would like to briefly uh, invite you now because of the approaching Father's Day or maybe the Father's Day has already been celebrated in your country, but still despite this, I would like to uh, invite you to sit and feel 
when you think about your father, what is the first impression? What is the first word that comes to you? The first feeling, emotion? When you think about your dad, is it pity? Is it aggression? Is it disgust? Or maybe there's no feeling because your father, you were brought up without the father. And whatever it is, please remember that this is also a part of you. Because biologically, we are made from a man and a woman. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes when you have, um, let's say, uh, auto-aggressive um, diseases, autoimmunologically at least aggressive diseases, we are attacking our own cells. And we, this body, even my body, this is created by my father and my mother. And if I have so much hatred within me towards my father, then I'm also attacking my own cells on a biological level. Because whenever you are very aggressive or you have these harsh emotions towards your parent, remember that the parents genetically are part of you, of your cells, of your DNA. So this can contribute to some psychosomatic problems, to some diseases. Of, of course, obviously, it's not really talked about in the mainstream. Um, so the image of the father you have in your heart is very important. And of course, life is far from perfect. And many of our fathers were blocked emotionally, unavailable, not there, abusive. But still, we need to remember that they gave what they could, even if it was this little, this little support and attention. They gave what they could because they were also struggling on some level that we as children didn't perceive that prohibited them from giving more. Maybe they didn't get enough also from their fathers. So the father's complex, the father's issues are prevalent in today's society. But fathers really do matter. And if you're a father, please know that you are very important for your child. And maybe that it's high time to break the family codes and patterns and start maybe learning a new way of how you can give your children more support, more love, more stability. Because the children learn by copying the behaviors. So you cannot really um, be very abstract and tell your child something, but they just observe and then they implement. And this is how we learned. So if you would like to be a good father, take care of yourself first. Become stable emotionally. Learn how to manage your emotions, not to be triggered all the time. Learn to take care of yourself so that when your son sees you, observes you, he sees, oh, daddy can manage his things, he does sport, he's active, and then he has already some encoding, but I would call it a positive encoding, and he will be able to take this example and also kind of uh, maybe later use it in the future for himself uh, when he will grow up. Um, when we have, uh, we have several types of fathers. We have the emotionally unavailable father, and I would say this is, I think, a problem number one. When the father is physically there, but um, emotionally cannot give the support. We have abusive fathers who are very aggressive, and maybe uh, if you're a woman and you're a grown-up woman and you had such a father in the house where you grew up, take a look at your partner. Maybe he also has these aggressive parts within him, because our brain functions in such a way that we choose what we already know. So that's why the father relationship, the father image, the father archetype for the woman is, a crucial, is of crucial value. Take a look at your man, take a look at the partners you choose, and maybe there you will figure out, oh, he's just like my father, or he's so similar to my father you will see that we tend to choose what we already know from our childhood, what we were encoded with, but there is always a pathway to change. But the first step is accepting, accepting things the way they were and telling yourself, hey, that's how it was. 
it couldn't have been different. And then the change is possible from the point of accepting. So that's all for the moment. I wish that uh, the fathers are really talked about in society because now we have an, we have an epidemic of uh, single parent households and many women are um, growing up their children without the father figure or limiting, limiting the contact to the father. Of course, I understand when the father is mentally ill or has some serious conditions, but the father role is very important in today's society. And I also want to underline it that the father role is crucial, especially if you have a little daughter or little son that is growing up, they learn from you. You are becoming the imprint of their future relationships, especially on the part of a woman growing up. So it's, it's up to you. It's your job to provide security, provide safety, give compliments, give support to your children. And then so that they become emotionally stable, they become the people who will be happy and create f happy families instead, just to break this cycle of traumas and emotional problems. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very curious of your feedback. You can write me a comment and I'm looking forward to seeing you very, very soon.